Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would show you what I wore in Marrakesh because I just wanted to show you what I wore, but I didn't actually film a lookbook. So this was kind of the next best alternative was just to show you when I got home. So Morocco is a mainly Muslim country and obviously part of their culture is covering up. So the respectful thing to do is to cover your shoulders, probably not have too much cleavage and dresses and stuff should be kind of below the knee. But I tried to stick to that quite a lot with my outfit choices, apart from when we were going to dinner in the hotel that we were staying in because we literally were taking over the whole hotel or if we were going somewhere that I knew that we were literally getting out the taxi and going straight to the dinner table because it was really hot but I still wanted to be quite respectful to the culture. I don't know necessarily how much you have to stick to the rules of dress sense over there. I know there's a lot of guides and things online that kind of tell you that you should cover up heavily and that kind of thing. However, we did see a lot of girls that were walking around in like little shorts or like shoulders out and stuff and it didn't seem to be a problem. So I've put these in order on the rail of how and when I wore them but I will put the Instagram pictures on the screen as well just so you can see kind of what they look like in the proper setting and I also took the odd Instagram video or like vlog clip but I know there's not that many and they're not that great so I will try and put those in as well but I'm not going to promise anything. There is also going to be a blog post attached to this video so if you click the link in the description box it will take you through so you've got all the links and stuff there if you wanted to kind of see the outfits a little bit better or just have a different format for once instead of listening to me waffle for 20 odd minutes. But without further ado I'm going to jump straight in and show you the first thing. So the first thing I wore when I got there was this jumpsuit. So I actually planned to wear this on the plane but in the end I got up at four o'clock in the morning and just threw on the first thing I saw which happened to be joggers and trainers so no judgment didn't actually wear this but this is what I put on when we first got to the resort slash hotel that we were staying in. So this is a really comfortable jumpsuit. It comes in a different colourway as well which I think was like black and white stripe or maybe blue and white stripe but this is black with the kind of neutral colours so flattering on and so comfortable I can't even tell you like I honestly think this is actually going to be my go-to for this summer because you can literally just throw it on and it's a whole outfit in itself just need a few accessories and like I said so comfortable that I can't like I just can't and I'm not the tallest person either but this fits a really great length so definitely worth having a look into I actually just paired that with these little shoes which are also obviously from next these are leather little sandals with the detailing on them so cute and so comfortable and the fact they're real leather means they're really well made so these are going to last quite a long time and they're just so easy to put with like every single outfit so loved them then for dinner on the first night I actually wore a blazer with some culottes so these culottes are part of the petite collection but you can also get them in regular sizing as well if you are a bit taller but they're just really gorgeous white cropped culottes with the button detailing and I believe they have these in a few different colours as well so if you were looking to get them and you maybe want a different colour or a different shade or length or anything you could do that. I just wore these with a little white cami and then I paired them with a blazer that is coming up later in this video but I wanted to show you this one because I didn't actually get around to wearing this but I would have worn this with the culottes and a white cami as well because that's kind of a really classic look to me. So this is a really gorgeous linen blend stone blazer. They also had it in a kind of like orangey colour similar to this with stripe. So beautiful and really flattering on and I'm a sucker for blazers to be honest. And then for accessories, I teamed it with these sandals, which were heavily worn across the trip. But these are just really, really lovely, kind of tasseled, very Moroccan style shoes. And to be honest, I actually lived in them. And there is another colourway if you wanted to get that. So these are part of the next Forever Comfort range, which is obviously focused around comfort as well as just like style and that kind of thing. But I loved these. I love all the tassels and stuff. And they were so comfortable to walk around all day in because... Obviously we walked around the Medina for a whole morning and we went to different places and they're just so comfortable that I couldn't resist wearing them a lot. They do come in another colourway if you wanted to check them out and didn't like this colourway, but so comfortable, honestly warm them to death. Like you're probably going to see them on a couple more outfits throughout this video. And then for my bag, I just teamed it with this little wooden number, which has got the leather strap. So this is just a really gorgeous crossbody that opens like so. And it's just a lovely little wooden box bag. Then for the Medina, I went for this really classic, gorgeous, long white dress. It is a bit covered in makeup. I probably need to give it a wash, but I wanted to film this video as soon as I got back. And this is actually part of the next beachwear collection, but I would totally and did wear this as an everyday dress. So it's a gorgeous like puffed sleeve number with the kind of low front. It's got a little bit of scalloping and the gorgeous broidery detail. And it's nice and long too, which is perfect. I tried to link it on my stories the day that I wore it and it was sold out online. It sells out quite quickly, but I will leave it linked below again along with a couple of alternatives because it is honestly one of my most loved items I've ever worn on Instagram. I had so many compliments about this and I definitely think it's one that's going to be coming out a lot more often. I would probably put it on today if it wasn't covered in makeup, but I'll pass it on a different one instead. But yeah, absolutely loved it. 
And I actually teamed it with the sandals that I just mentioned as well. So it was like a really cute little Moroccan style combo. And then for my bag, I actually used this giant natural one that you can see here. It is currently under a million bags, so I'm not going to get it off. But this fitted so much in and a fun little story for you so we were actually waiting for some of the girls to take a picture at one point when we were walking around the souk and a lovely little moroccan man came up to me and asked if he could buy the bag off me and swap it with one that he sold because he really liked it and obviously wanted to sell it on and whatever but i said no because i loved it then for dinner that evening i actually didn't make it to dinner because i had a really bad migraine from all the heat However, I did get a picture just before of what I was planning to wear to dinner, which is this really gorgeous top and skirt combo. So this top I actually have in two colourways, the other one is coming up in a minute, and it's just a really lovely broidery black cami with the little frill details. And then I teamed it with this gorgeous wrap skirt, which is long and black, which is obviously perfect. Um, but what I love about it is the fact that it's actually stitched so it can't go flapping around in the wind So you literally are completely covered up and it's got the tie detail and stuff as if it is still a completely normal wrap skirt So I actually wore that combo with these sandals which were really really gorgeous and super comfortable as well These come in a variety of colors and shades and prints and all sorts but again super comfortable the one thing i will say about next is all of their shoes and stuff are really really comfortable and really affordable so definitely worth looking into if you are going on a holiday and you needed a lot of sandals and stuff like that then on the third day we headed over to the ysl garden which is a really big kind of tourist hotspot. have to admit that's one that you really need to watch the vlog for because it was so busy but so beautiful like I kind of wish that we'd gone earlier in the morning so it could have been a lot more tranquil but it was a really great gardens to see definitely worth looking into and also it's where YSL himself really loved and his ashes are actually scattered around the garden so it's quite a weirdly like tranquil space very very cool to go to um, so for that, because we were in the gardens and I knew it was quite a tourist hotspot, I did carry a scarf with me just in case I needed to put it over my shoulders. But I actually went with a little cami top again. So this is the white version of the black that I just showed you. So it's a really gorgeous little broidery number, really flattering on, and I kind of just loved the shape of it and the style of it. And then I teamed it with these wide leg trousers, which are, again, also from Next. The only thing I will say is I got the regular because I didn't really think it through when I got them and should have really got the teeth. So I just turned them over a couple of times and stitched them, which actually looks really great because it kind of looked a lot more like slouchy and relaxed and also kind of stylish. So if I was an office worker, I would 100% wear these to work because really, really comfortable and I just loved the rust colour of them. So I actually wore these with that combo because I think that this colourway just goes really well with the rust colour. And then for the bag choice, I obviously went with the giant one because I needed to carry my water and my scarf and my sunglasses and all that kind of stuff as well. So that bag got a lot of use and was also a great carry-on as well. And then finally was this combo. So I just wore a little Zara white t-shirt dress with this tied up blazer. And honestly, this blazer is so flattering on and over a little white dress, it just looked really great because of all the layers and the tucked in and just looked really classic and stylish. And I loved it. I loved the color of it as well. Really, really flattering on. Um, I did originally think that I could wear this as a suit, but the rust colors are slightly different and a bit too much so to wear together. So I wore this for dinner on the last evening with none other than the gorgeous little tasseled shoes. Looked so cute together and honestly one of my favourite summer outfits. I'm kind of waiting for it to be hot enough in England for me to wear it here. But for now I think I would wear it with like a white cami and jeans. But on holiday, perfect to wear it with a little t-shirt dress. And then my bag of choice for that one was this little croc bucket bag which fit again a surprising amount in. I think I'm always baffled by how much bags fit in them and I don't know why because not many bags are actually that small anymore or impractical. But this has a really gorgeous inner which is really nice and secure for your belongings. So it's like a little canvas pouch inside and then it's just a really gorgeous crossbody design with a great amount of space. I fit so much in here. Like I always obviously have to carry around my camera and my sunglasses and my phone and my lip gloss and all the other bits and pieces like power packs and it all fit really nicely in this. And yeah, that was everything that I wore in Marrakesh. I think I'm actually going to mix and match these videos a little bit from the future because I've got so many trips coming up and I know that some of them a look because isn't really going to be possible so this kind of thing might work a little bit better but I hope that was a good insight for you into what I packed and wore in Marrakesh. If you wanted the Marrakesh vlog, I'll put the link in the cards for that one, but it will also be in the description and on the end of this video, as well as my next kind of gigantic haul of things that turned up for the trip, which includes a lot more than this, so worth checking that out as well. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.